My name is Sonali and I work for IMI and I'm working in the Mekong Basin and I am the project leader for Mekong Project 1. Uh, and we held a, a session in the Share Fair which was on interdisciplinary research and the challenges we face when doing interdisciplinary research. So we had two questions that we were trying to answer during the session. Uh, the first one was what were the challenges different individuals from the different basins had experienced when doing interdisciplinary research. And we had like a brainstorming session from people from the different basins on that. And then we, the second thing was identifying what were the solutions or how did people address some of these challenges. So some of the key challenges were things like um, not speaking a common language. For example, social scientists and biophysical scientists not being able to communicate because we speak two different languages. And another interesting point that came out is also there's a bit of a power dimension to it. Perhaps some of the biophysical scientists feel that the hardcore science is the real thing and the social science is of a sort of lower level. Um, and there's also sometimes no one to facilitate this the integration between these different disciplines. We then moved on to talk about some of the solutions. Uh, one of the interesting solutions was this matching method that was brought up by one of the participants, where you the different disciplines work independently to a certain degree, but they have an interface at which point they integrate the different types of results. Uh, another point that came out was trekking together, so sort of going on the journey together. At certain key junctures of your research, the entire team from the different disciplines meet and they discuss the research problem, looking at it from their different perspectives. And ideally by, for example, going into the field and doing it as, a, you know, like in the field.